Hey guys, this is your trusted weather forecast, and today we're going to be talking about potential tropical storm gamma and potential tropical storm delta that could form in the Caribbean over the next couple days. The delta, the second disturbance, which is the yellow one there, poses a potential U.S. threat. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please click the subscribe button if you like weather-related content. Hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this with friends and family and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. Let's get right into this. This is the National Hurricane Center's website. You see we have two disturbances in the Atlantic, both in the Caribbean, part of the Atlantic. And you can see the red disturbance here has a 70% chance of formation through five days and a 40 through 48 hours and could potentially impact Mexico. And it could impact Mexico twice as it loops around again, as you can see by the path of the red there. This is potential tropical storm gamma. If it ends up forming, model guidance does suggest this becomes a tropical storm. The other disturbance, the yellow one, has a 20% chance of formation for five days and a zero through 48 hours. I expect this to rapidly increase as it gets closer to the United States, and it is likely to end up forming with current model guidance. And environmental conditions will likely become more conductive when the system is over the Caribbean. Invest 91L, which is the red disturbance we saw that could impact Mexico, all current model guidance has this becoming a tropical storm, and as it weakens after it makes its first landfall in Mexico, it will go back into the Gulf and potentially strengthen some more. With this current model guidance, it will become a tropical storm again. These are the potential paths it could take. You can see it will likely make landfall in Mexico, pull into the Gulf, make a U-turn, and make another landfall in Mexico if it doesn't dissipate before then. The main threats from this system in Mexico will be very, very heavy rains and potentially some landslides. This is some current model guidance from that second system that could impact the United States. This is the way this GDPS model run. And you can see where that L995 is. That's where that system is. And you can see it pushes towards Florida and strengthens into 987 millivars before pushing back out to sea along the Carolina coast. Many solutions could be in play. Nothing may develop. Something may develop and could potentially be a tropical storm or something major could develop. It's really a boom or a bust situation for the second system. These are current sea surface temperatures in degrees Celsius in the Atlantic. You can see they are very warm in the Caribbean with 30 to 32 degrees Celsius waters. If any system, organized system, can tap into those warm waters, significant strengthening is likely if it's an organized system. In the Gulf, however, they get slightly cooler the more north you go, with 30s turning into 27s and below. The question of the day for this video will be, do you prefer sunsets or sunrises better? Which do you prefer and which are more beautiful to you, sunsets or sunrises? That's the Shusted Weather Forecast for potential tropical storm Gamma and Delta. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.